I'm Gary Gitnick. I'm a professor of medicine at UCLA and chief of the Division of Digestive Diseases. And it's composed of some of the greatest clinicians, scientists, clinical investigators anywhere. One of the unique aspects of our division is that even though we're the Division of Digestive Diseases, we have faculty that conduct research on all parts of the human body. A gastroenterologist here is a complete physician. We believe in personalized care, but total care. On the research side, we believe that you shouldn't constrain people to a narrow area because you never know where research will take you. By using information and technology a analytics to be able to break down what we have learned from books and what we can see in, in terms of regular data at the bedside and transform that into a way that we can actually change care in the future. That's the dream and it's not really science fiction anymore, that's the reality. We're at a place where we can make a real difference. The resources that the Melvin and Bren Simon Charitable Foundation have provided us gives us that basic foundation that enables us to build true greatness. The foundation gift has allowed us now to establish the Melvin and Bren Simon Digestive Diseases Center. And the goal is ultimately not only to impact patient care in digestive diseases or care at UCLA, but to help patients in all disease areas throughout the world. Contributions like this directly go to support patient care and research and scientists' efforts such as those of Dr. Iliopoulos. And he's essentially set up a laboratory that allows us to quickly analyze information and big data in ways that have ne has never been done before um, in the country, if not the world. Here our aim is to try to identify and expedite uh, the drug discovery process, as I told you, for different human diseases. So our focus is the patient and try to do more for the patients and uh, redefine the boundaries of science and medicine. Dr. Eliopoulos takes specimens from patients and uses those specimens to be able to conduct research that will help us identify drugs that can treat those conditions that the patients have, as well as better um, identify potential causes of the diseases that the patients have. We used to do research by getting a theory and then trying to prove that we were right. What he's doing is taking a million molecules and see what works. With computer analysis, you can go through big data, you can go through huge amounts of data and come up with narrow answers. Couldn't do that five years ago. We have here equipment, uh, it's uh, called uh, nanostring technology, it's a new kind of technology where we can uh, analyze close to 1,000 patient samples at the same time. Right now in a regular laboratory, if you go in any university, people analyze genes one by one. So to analyze, we have the capacity with this piece of equipment here, 800 genes or information you can have it in your mind. At the same time, we can do it in six hours, while in any regular laboratory all over the world, this same experiment takes six months. So regularly for uh, any kind of drug, for any human disease, it takes around eight to 10 years. With the infrastructure that we have here in this center, we are able to expedite this process and identify a novel compound in two to four years. I think Iliopolis is going to turn around how drugs are made in the world. And that, that unique approach, that is the kind of research that Mrs. Simon is funding, and there'll be more of it. Mrs. Simon is one of those people who has always thought about what is one step ahead. And she's a real advocate and uh, has an interest in science. There are many new compounds and drugs that actually we are planning and we have in our pipeline. They will be out available for the patients in the next few years. In order to go forward much faster, we need this kind of uh, donations uh, early in order to have the kind of infrastructure that we create here and hopefully in other places in order to identify what we want uh, for all the different human diseases.